Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Status. I'm Joey. I'm Lex. So it is uh, a Friday, Veterans Day. Thank you, Veterans, uh, which I guess is always on. Did you know this? It's always on the 11th day of the 11th month because it was signed at the 11th hour. So it's a different day every year. Did you know that? You don't care as long as you're not. I don't want to ask no. about this. <laughs> no, you don't care as long as you're off from school. Yeah. Which same much. thing with me. Uh, so we're both off of work on Friday, which is amazing. Uh, we're going to jump into a recipe today here, but I want to show you, guess who's back? Who? Little Red. Remember your childhood nemesis when you were growing Ooh. up? Uh, with the elf and we put him around the house and you try to figure out like, you know, uh, was he taking notes and all that. Uh, Little Red's back and Little Red's clothes are courtesy of the Red Owl Shop. You gotta check out Juliana's life. There's so many different options of clothes. I like this one he's wearing here. It's uh, rocking around the Christmas tree with his guitar because I kind of like to dabble in guitar so it's kind of a lot of fun. But then she's got these whole, this is the way they come. You pick the package you want online and then you get the whole package with everything you need for the elf right here. Pizza party. This one is right, a little red pizza party, right? Or your elf pizza party. This one's a little red outfit. Play has got to play. It's another gaming one, which she likes to do, uh, which is a lot of fun. And it comes with a little gaming console and a little outfit and a little, oh, this one's got a VR mask too, right? So Little Red has moved up into VR. This one here is like this holiday baking thing. Uh, it's got hot chocolate, a little hot chocolate sign. Uh, it's got a little wood stump like you're out in the snow. It just looks cold. A serving tray with cookies. And then she even sent along this uh, little kind of dome thing. We have it over there, the dome thing that goes over this little round thing and it keeps like your donuts and all that stuff fresh. So check out Juliana over at the Red Elf Shop. We're not sponsored by the Red Elf Shop. But Juliana sends me these things every year and they're so adorable, you have to check them out. There'll be a link to the Red Elf Shop right below this video in the description. All right, so I don't know if you remember this, but the last time we did a recipe out of this book, remember. Plant You, no. it, was the, uh, it was the black bean burgers, remember? And they were really, really good. Uh, Carly Bodro, Plant You, one of my favorite cookbooks. Everything we've made out of here so far is really good. Uh, those burger patties are amazing. Today we're gonna make the barbecue chickpea stuffed uh, sweet potato. I've never made this before, just like last time out of the, the recipe when we did the Bliss Burger. I never made those before, but I mean, the recipe looked pretty good. We're gonna make these with you the first time. I have total faith in Carly, and we'll see how this turns out. If you haven't joined our Patreon yet, uh, we do have a Patreon uh, page. Uh, there's a link below this video how you can uh, become a financial supporter. Uh, I'm going to start putting up, or I am now putting up, uh, Patreon-only content. So you have to kind of be a patron for that, right? That sounds, that sounds Patreonic. <laughs> Alrighty! Uh, Patreon uh, is nice because I can put stuff up there, and it's not like... Only fans or something, right? It's, it's all just... I don't just, know if anyone <laughs> wants to see that. I know wants to see that anyway. Uh, anyway, now where did I go with this? So there's a link below on uh, this video how you can become a financial supporter with either PayPal or Patreon. Patreon does have uh, the uh, Patreon-only uh, account. Also, one last thing. We're on Cameo now. Did you know that? Yeah, I did know that. Yeah, so uh, Cameo, uh, you have people wish you happy birthday and happy anniversary or do shout outs to you. I thought, why would anybody want to do that? But some friends of ours of the show uh, asked us to do a happy birthday to them last year. We're like, this is going to be so awkward. And really, it was so much fun. It was really personalized. It was like we knew these people. And I forget that we come into your, our living room every week. So you, like, when I run into people, they're like, no, no, I, I know you. Like, I feel like I know you, right? So, uh, I mean, we did it. We had a great time. So we're going to offer that to you guys. So it'd be a great holiday little treat if you wanted to... Uh, have us do a shout out to you or someone else or I don't know. All right, are you ready to cook? I'm ready. Let's make it happen. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put our cookbook on this little cookbook stand, what I love, and just stick it down here and there you go, right? And according to this book, we need four large sweet potatoes. So I did purchase some sweet potatoes and I'm gonna do the calorie or macro count at the end. Let's just put this over here. Uh, but these are about, the average is about 400 grams. Some are 300 grams, 350, some are 420, but they're about 400 grams sweet potatoes, all right? And according to this, we're gonna preheat the oven uh, to 400 degrees and line the baking sheet with uh, parchment paper. So let's get that going. All right, so we got our baking sheet here. Do you know what parchment paper does? No. So you put it down and it makes sure that stuff doesn't stick. And then it doesn't burn when it cooks either. So just kind of, just kind of lay it out here like this, right? Uh, and it's kind of like hard to work with, but once you lay everything down, it's fine. 
So we put the oven on 400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and we're lining a baking sheet with parchment paper. Uh, we're going to place the sweet potatoes on one side of the prepared baking sheet. Do we have to put holes in them? Uh, doesn't say that. When I cook sweet potatoes, I normally don't put holes in them. Because if you've ever noticed when you put holes in them, the, the brown liquid as it cooked, like the, the caramelization leaks out. I don't, want, I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to put these on one side of the baking sheet. Because we're going to have another side where we're pouring the chickpeas on. We're not ready to do that, but that's what we're going to do right here. All right, I'm going to move this over. Give myself plenty of cooking space. All right, one side of the baking sheet. I bake for 40 to 50 minutes. I can tell you I've cooked a lot of sweet potatoes. These are going to need 50 minutes to cook. Uh, probably an hour, but let's go with 50 minutes because 50 minutes, they're really huge. We're going to pop these in and then make the chickpea seasoning, and we'll pop that in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to wait for that to heat up, and we'll pop those in the oven. So next we need, there's a tahini dressing in this book that we have to use for this. So I'm going to switch that real quick and show you how we make the tahini dressing. All right, so on page 204 of the, the book. So the first thing we need up here is, what is that? Ain't you reading it? What do you mean? One third of a cup of tahini, right? All right, so hand me the tahini. That's right there. What is right there? The tahini. That doesn't answer my question. Turn something around. No, 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 no. The big, yeah, that one right there. All right, pop that over here. We'll do a third of a cup here. And like I said, I will have the, uh, the macros on the screen at some point. I'll go over all of them. But for now, to make this tahini dressing, and it makes four servings, we're going to use uh, a third of a cup, which I figured out to be, a, I already measured, measured this earlier, about 82 grams. Do you know what tahini is made of? Tahini? Well, what is, what is it? It is uh, sesame seeds, sesame seed paste, it's just ground seeds, and it's in all of the, uh, the hummus that we make. Same thing. And then what do we need next? Two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. All right, our lemon juice is in the freezer because it's in a little cube, so let me get that. So I just grabbed them out of the Ziploc bag here, and these are really big cubes. I'll pop uh, a cube right, right in here, and I'll just throw it in the microwave. I'm just going to do 20 seconds, and that should warm it up enough for me to have juice out of it. All right, let's see if you get two tablespoons of lemon juice out of there and pop it in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have one. It's lemon juice. Have one. Okay. Uh, so we've got one, two, still a lot of lemon left. All right. All right. So what do we need next? One tablespoon of pure maple syrup. All right. We got the maple syrup right there. Let's grab that. And this one is a new one, it hasn't been opened yet, so we're going to have to open it up and pull the little tab. Maple syrup vegan? Maple syrup vegan, yeah, yeah, it's just syrup from the tree. It's just, maple, it's just from the tree. Now if you buy like, I don't know, a log cabin or something where they start adding stuff to it, they could add honey to it, so you got to be careful. But this is just pure maple syrup, alright? And then we need one tablespoon of this. One tablespoon of maple syrup. What's the last ingredient? Last ingredient is one fourth cup water. All right, quarter cup of water. All right, the last thing we're putting in here is one quarter cup of water. And I think guessing we just whisk this together. Yeah, we're just yeah. gonna whisk this together. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of whisk this all together. And this is the the dressing we're using for the barbecue chickpeas. It's a tahini based dressing. All right, all right, you kind of see that all come together right there. And that's looking pretty good. All right, very nice there. All right, I think we can put this aside and just continue on. All right, so for the filling, the first thing we need is, it looks like uh, place the chickpeas in a bowl uh, and combine with the paprika. So we need one can of chickpeas, so grab me that. Um, I don't really, I could buy any organic chickpeas, but Tim likes these good and gather ones because it's a pull top. I don't care that it's a pull top, but I mean, as long as they're organic chickpeas, it's fine with me. All right, we're gonna need to strain these. You want to strain these over the sink? You got, you can do it. You, you got it, right? It is my day off too. Yeah, you got it. And I'm tired. You know, it's my day off. You know? My day off too. All right, all right. So I've got a can of uh, chickpeas, uh, and I'm just I drain and rinse. I'm just putting them in a bowl here. We need to add the uh, what's next here? Bowl combined paprika, cumin, garlic powder, chili powder, and salt. All right, so paprika next. So what do we need here? I want you to put these in. Uh, two teaspoons. So let's find the teaspoon measure. Uh, is this it right here? This is it? All right, two of those. 
Actually, you went to bed. I stayed up late watching uh, stuff on Netflix, which yeah, I never I do. Know. You went to bed much earlier than I did. I don't know why you're so tired. I didn't uh, get any sleep last I think night. teenagers, like 17-year-olds just need sleep. That's just the way it is. Wait till you have to stop working for a living. I do. What do you do? You're servant the whole time. <laughs> you're my servant? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not doing a good job on this place. I'm going to have to can you here. We uh, the cumin. So a teaspoon of ground cumin. So that's that one there. So you put that in. Come on. You need to help me here. I'm a senior citizen. We All right. So one teaspoon of ground cumin right there. Let's put in after the cumin, uh, the garlic powder and the chili powder. So garlic powder is the other big one right there. There you go. Perfect. Pop that together. And then the next one is a teaspoon of chili powder. Now there's a reason I like these square, uh, these square uh, measures, because they fit inside the bottle. Isn't that cool? Or these rectangular ones? Very nice. Quite a bit of spice there, which is perfect, right? All right, so it says to put in the garlic, chili powder, and salt. Uh, you can leave the salt out. We're not worried about salt in this house, so let me grab that salt right there. Uh, a quarter of a, or half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in. Uh, none of us have high blood pressure or anything, so I think we're good. All right, so we're just gonna take a little spoon and kind of combine the chickpeas to get them covered, right? And this is kind of what gives them kind of that barbecue taste, because these are all the barbecue spices. I guess you could just put barbecue sauce on them too, but this will work fine. See how they're all kind of coated, which looks really good, right? I love coated chickpeas. Can you eat them now? You, well, you can, everything's cooked, but we're gonna cook them to get them a little crunchiness. Oh, could you like, yeah. just take one bowl and eat They are cooked. They're cooked. <laughs> I mean, are they good or? Mm. I mean, it tastes good, but I, I would want to... The chickpeas are cooked, but they're not kind of baked. The spices aren't baked on. Okay, so we're still waiting for the oven to finish heating up, so we haven't put the potatoes in. So what we're going to do next is, we're going to wait for that to happen, throw the potatoes in at 400 degrees once it hits 400, and then we're going to let that cook for 15 minutes, and then throw in the uh, chickpeas on the parchment paper on the spot, and let it cook for another 45 minutes. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. Lex saw that this is going to take an hour, and he's like, I'm out of here. I had to heat up some uh, mac and cashew cheese for him, and he went upstairs to the game. He'll be back. Uh, but uh, it's been 15 minutes, and we're at the point now, uh, at the 15-minute point, take out the tray, which we did, lay the chickpeas right here in a single layer uh, next to the sweet potatoes and the prepared bake sheet, and bake for the rest of the time. All right, let's do an overview right here. You can see the chickpeas. They look amazing. They've got all the spices all coated, so they're kind of ready to go. And they're going to be put out in a single layer here. So I'm just going to lay these right on the hot pan. <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of move these around to make sure that they're single layered, right? So they all kind of cook evenly. And this space on the pan, so I can move them around a little bit. These are gonna come out really nice. These chickpeas by themselves without the sweet potatoes would be a great snack. You can just heat these and, and just snack on them. So, great idea. All right, I'm gonna get these back in the oven. I've already cooked it for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do an hour on those potatoes. So I'm gonna cook these for 45 minutes for the rest of the time, uh, and then we'll pull them out. All right, they're in there, they're ready to go. 45 minutes. Okay, so we took this out of the oven. You can see here it's kind of done and cooling. Um, while we're waiting for this to cool, right? So you are a, you were a varsity swimmer. Uh, the swim season kind of ended. It starts the first day back to school and it's November, so it's over. And since you were a senior, the club had purchased for you and the other seniors these life-size banners, oh, right? Mm -hmm. That they hung up at all the meets, right? And every time I went to see the meets, right? Your big banner was there smiling with all of the other seniors, right? So now that the swim season is over, let me ask you, let me ask you, hang on. What are we gonna do with this? I don't know. Burn it. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with it. We have a fireplace for a reason. <laughs> Throw it in there for some time. I don't know. I'm gonna wait after you graduate. Actually, if you look at the back. Oh, everyone signed it. I didn't know that. That is so cool. Oh. So, uh, I don't know what you guys do with this, but I've got a life-size a life -size photo of Lex with his name on it uh, that i got to figure out what to do with. I said just hang it up in the glass that you've You think okay, you're going to hang it in the glass? I don't care, so I think you want. All right, so we'll figure out what to do with that. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the potatoes, we're going to cut them the long way, lay them on a plate, and then sprinkle in the thing. So is this still hot? 
No, it's actually it's super manageable, right? I'm gonna put this over here. Yep. Hang on. All right, so let's grab a knife over here. All right, so we'll just cut this the long way. Uh, we'll take this, and these should be done, I would think. Oh, look, yeah. They look like they They're done. All right. Um, they're mm. big potatoes. They're big uh, sweet potatoes. Oh, that looks nice. So, yeah, they look nice, actually. Uh, all right, so we'll grab two of these. We'll I'll just one them here. Well, we're going to plate them up, but oh, yeah, we'll right. yeah, I thought you were like two of yeah. them. I don't expect you to eat a whole one by yourself. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to grab a fork. And you take this one, I'll take this one. We, we got to make room for the top one. So we're just going to kind of smash this down a little bit. Actually, the inside is not as cooked as it should be. Mm -hmm. It's a bit yeah, hard. It's a bit hard in the middle, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do it anyway. So what are we doing here? So we're just kind of doing this, kind of smashing this up. So we're taking the out the orange part? No, we're not going to take it out. We're just kind of mashing it a little bit. I mean, it's, it, most of it's cooked, but it's the center that's not cooked. And, you know, when the potatoes are that big like that, they it's can take, get I know, the, these were in for an hour. They can take longer than that to cook, right? So it really all depends on the size of the, the, the potato. All right, so that one's looking good. Let me, let me just add a bit more to that one. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take this, and then we're gonna take uh, some of the chickpeas. So let's grab a spoon from here. And we're just gonna lay some of these chickpeas in here. And these potatoes should, these uh, flavors should go really well together. Now, I don't eat the skins of the, of the sweet potato. People do. I eat the skins of the regular potato, but not of the sweet potato. All right, so we're putting about 25% of the chickpeas on here. All right, and then let's grab the tahini sauce right there. And we're just going to put a little bit of this sauce on. This sauce is really high in calories. Are you like, going to put the parsley all in there? I will. The sauce is about, the whole thing is about 500 calories. That's so, it? Well, that's a lot. So you don't want to have that much on it. So I'm just going to drizzle this on here. But I don't want to, you're supposed to use the whole thing for all four potatoes. It's good but I don't know. It could work as a nice Thanksgiving meal. I mean, it could. Actually, it could. It does kind of look really nice, it does, right? Yeah. Although, you know, Maria Carey's already done defrosting, oh, so no one really cares about Thanksgiving, oh. you know. <laughs> All right. You turn on the radio, all you hear is Christmas songs. Yeah, I mean, there is no Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's no Thanksgiving music per se. All right, let's get rid of all this. All right, and then ideally you've got fresh spices. I do not, so I'm just going to sprinkle some parsley on That's here. Good. That's good. Yeah. That's okay, good. There we go. So let's give this a shot and see what it tastes like. All right. Try and get in there and get the potato and the you chicken. You want to get a nice bite for me, I guess? All right, hang on. Oh, it's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. good. You're gonna get any of the potato, or you're just gonna get yeah. like the whole. All right, there you go. Thank you. Mmm. I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of tahini, right? Uh, and I think the the chickpeas probably could have had some barbecue sauce poured on it good, yeah. to make it more barbecuey, but maybe less crunchy on the chickpeas. Uh, well, the chickpeas go for an hour, so or forty five minutes, so they're supposed to be crunchy. They're not hard. Though. No, but they're, no good. they're crunchy. No, they're pretty good. This is delicious. So another great meal out of the book uh, Plant You by Carly Beldro. Um, very nicely done and uh, a really good uh, combination of starches here. Now let's go to the macros and let's talk about what's involved in that. All right. You can see here the bulk of the calories come from the sweet potatoes. It's 1,600 grams of sweet potatoes for 1,300 calories. Sweet potatoes are a starch, so it's very close to uh, one calorie per gram. Uh, so here, just under, but enough to give you, uh, you know, almost 1,400 calories. Now, this recipe makes uh, four servings, right? Each sweet potato is a serving. Uh, if you go to the next biggest uh, contributor to the calories, that is the, the chickpeas. Again, chickpeas are or a bean, so they're a starch. Uh, so if you've got uh, 15 ounces of chickpeas, that's almost 400 calories. And then the dressing that I made, that I showed you how to make, that dressing makes four servings altogether. I use two of those servings for this four serving recipe. So 
you take half the dressing from that recipe and use it on the four sweet potatoes here, and it's more than enough. So uh, that dressing, half of that dressing is 310 calories or 312 calories. So the whole the whole dressing is uh, 624 calories, uh, which is a lot for a dressing. That's why you want to use it sparingly. You could leave it off, but it really kind of ties it all together. And again, this makes four servings. All right, so if we look out our, uh, our information here as far as calories, the whole uh, serving or one potato is 530 calories. This is a starch loaded meal. This wouldn't be a good idea if you're having a 400 calorie meal because I could probably eat two of those potatoes easily and that's like 1,060 calories right there. Uh, you would wanna have maybe one of these uh, and then load it with a bunch of non-starchy vegetables with it, L serve it with some Brussels sprouts or something like that uh, to bring the calories up to like 600 and that would be good for a meal. But you can see here, 530 calories. And then as far as, uh, that's for one serving, one of those potatoes. And as far as the nutrients, you know, fiber, <laughs> the potatoes, and uh, the beans, uh, the garbanzo beans, those things are loaded with fiber. So for the average person, that's 60% of their fiber for the whole day from that one meal. Of course, we don't eat the average amount of fiber because the average person doesn't get enough fiber. So that's just a small portion of our fiber for the day. But you can see a nice amount of fiber. You've got half your daily requirements of iron just from this one meal, from one of those potatoes. And again, this is for one serving, one potato. Uh, calcium, uh, you got a quarter of your day serving, which is great. 319% uh, of your vitamin A, fantastic. Uh, and then you've got some trace, uh, trace settings for the vitamin C, the folate, and the potassium. So having one of these potatoes is a really nice start to your day. But again, I would load it up with some non-starchy vegetables also to make it a complete meal. All right, so not exactly a 400 calorie meal, uh, but for him and I, it's perfect. Yeah, I can adjust my meals throughout the day. I like it. All right, I like it too, I'm glad. Really yeah, all right, uh, that's our video for today. Uh, hit that like button, show us some love, click on the subscribe button, click on that bell, we get notified every time we have a video, usually every Tuesday. Uh, and uh, leave a comment below, have you made anything out of this book? We have, this is like our fourth recipe. We absolutely love it. Anything to add? Not really. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.